When developing Flash content, you will want to test frequently. This lesson provides an overview of the different methods of testing available to us in Flash Professional CS6. So here we have a demo project opened up that has just some basic animation where things move apart here, some different shape objects, and some text comes flying in. So what if we actually want to test this? Well, you can see that one method of testing is what I'm doing right now, and that is scrubbing the playhead. So as I click on this playhead and move it back and forth, we can see any sort of animation that's actually taking place. We can also test this by using these little controls down here in the timeline. So if we hit play, it'll actually advance the playhead for us, and we can preview the animation. However, you'll notice that when this happens, we're not really getting the real experience because we can see all this stuff over in the work area. So the best way to test any of this is to actually go up to the control menu, and from here we can play which is what we did in the timeline, or we can go down to test movie. And when we test movie, we can choose to test in Flash Professional, which is going to use the standalone Flash player. We can choose in browser, which is going to invoke a browser window for us to test in. Or if we are using Air, we can target the Air debug launcher for desktop, the debug launcher for mobile, or we can actually test on a device that's connected over USB. Test, or you can see the shortcut here, that will actually allow us to execute this test. Directly underneath test movie is test scene. So scenes are a way of breaking up the timeline into manageable chunks. And scenes exist independent of other scenes on the timeline aside from their order. So the scenes are arranged in numerical order. One will lead into another. Here we can just test one specific scene of our movie. So if we wanted to test, say, scene four of an eight scene movie, we could go to scene four and then select test scene. This particular movie only has one scene. So if we choose test scene from here, it's just going to play the whole timeline. Let's go and test movie in Flash Professional and see what that looks like. So we saw there an export. So it exported the Swift, and then it ran through our animation for us. So when we test within Flash Professional, we get a number of different options for assisting us with this. We have file close, which will obviously close this entire window here. We can also view, so we can zoom in, we can set magnification. We also get things such as a bandwidth profiler. So the bandwidth profiler, when we turn that on, it shows us some really good information about our particular movie. So for instance, our dimensions, the stage is 550 by 400 pixels. Our frame rate is 24 frames per second. It gives us the size of our compiled Swift, which is 7K. It gives us the duration both in frames and seconds. And it lets us know how long it takes to actually preload the content. And this is based upon these bandwidth settings that are specified right here. We also have control over the timeline through this little scrubber up here. And we can see the load for each particular frame and object on that frame. So here's frame 40, there's 41, 43, and so forth. Related to this are these download settings and the simulation of a download. So from here, we can go in and test, for instance, what something would or how something would play back on a 14.4 modem. So, you know, if you're targeting 
this content to people who are still on dial-up, this can be very useful. On the other end of the spectrum, we can even test on a T1 DSL line, or if you're testing some specific other setting, you can actually customize these user settings to simulate a download in some other way. So let's go to 14.4, and then we can go in and simulate that download. So we can see here that it monitors what percentage is actually loaded at any time. And we can see what happens is that even on a 14.4K modem, what we're going to have is a little bit of stuttering there, unless we actually preload the content first. So other options we have here are quality settings. We can choose to show redraw regions if we wish. So if we do that, I can see which portions of the visual elements will actually redraw in each frame. In the control menu, this simply lets us play, rewind, choose whether to loop or not, or step forward and backward one frame. We can also disable keyboard shortcuts from here. And then we have our debug menu. We're not debugging this movie right now. And you wouldn't want to debug unless you're actually using ActionScript, which we're not. When you debug, though, you can use this particular menu. So let's turn off our bandwidth profiler and close this out. So this has been an example of how to test your movie in a number of different ways within Flash Professional CS6.